been intimidated by the technicality of sharpening knives? Well, I used to be intimidated, but now I'm not. And I'm going to show you how to take any blade and make it brutally sharp. I aspire to make this video the most basic and non-technical video. So I'm going to take a butter knife and sandpaper and I'm going to sharpen this butter knife so it'll cut anything like butter. Let's start with some real basics on blade profile. This is what you're going to find on most kind of moderately cheap factory blades. It has a blunt, almost chisel tip. The dotted lines on there show what you have to take off if you want a really, really sharp edge. So your blade should end up looking about like this. A very, very steep angle on the blade. But I'm not going to give you any numbers because if you just want a blade that cuts, you don't need to even know the numbers. If you want a technical video on sharpening knives, go to Wrangler Star's channel. He's got some great videos. I'm trying to take the intimidation out of this. Now, there's two knives I would not use these techniques on. One, an heirloom that you don't want to ruin the blade. Two, I also wouldn't use these on a hacking blade. A knife that's made for hacking because you can actually break off the fine tip um, that I show you with this technique. I'm starting with a random orbital sander with 80 grit sandpaper. You could definitely go finer than that. And here's my butter knife. Let's get going. And we're just going to go. Between passes with the sander, I'm just dipping it in this water here, drying the blade and continuing to sand. Okay, so I've got the blade roughed out now. I've got all the serration taken out of it, except for right at the tip. Um, and I'm gonna do the rest by hand. You can do this whole process by hand with a piece of sandpaper and a flat surface like a block of wood or a flat piece of metal. This is 150 grit sandpaper. I realized that my 150 grit sandpaper wasn't fine enough, so I hunted around and found just a little piece of steel, a little steel plate. It's rusted, and I used that to get my knife down to the next level. After that, I've got this little diamond kitchen honer, and I did about, I don't know, 10,000, <laughs> a whole lot passes on that. And I think my blade's ready. The last thing I'm going to do is just go over the back of my um, belt a few times here to take off any burrs I have. Now this knife, I think this is probably the sharpest knife in my house right now. Let's try this blade out and see how it cuts. Here's our paper. That's no problem. It slices right down through that paper. And then what's the ultimate test of a sharp knife? I think this is my least favorite part of the video. That's where I try to shave my mustache off with a butter knife. And it's dry. I'm dry too. I can't really see what I'm doing. Let's go to the leg. All right, the shaving test. Here's my razor sharp butter knife. And yeah, I definitely say that's sharp. It shaved it clean right there. I bet we can get these sideburns here. This is going to hurt later. And the other side. Yeah. We'll have to clean that up. I'll have to clean up in the bathroom. What are you doing? Shaving. Oh. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You're right. Okay, I wouldn't really want to shave with this knife. It's just not that great steel, but I could if I had to. It's that sharp, and you can make anything that sharp too. The keys are find something that's abrasive, put a really sharp angle on it, and don't stop till it's sharp. I'm Art with Art and Bree. Check out our other videos. You have a great day.